Hey guys, we're out here testing the Swing Caddy SC200 and we're putting it against the Trackman, so we'll see how it does. Six iron, uh, it was probably my best hit of the day so far. Uh, numbers 181 carry, 116 ball speed, 1.4 smash factor. So uh, 82 club head speed, which is sounds kind of low. Uh, let's check what Trackman is, John. So Trackman, we have a carry of 167.9. Ball speed 118.3, club head speed at 87.1. So club head speed was five miles an hour different. Um, carry was, what'd you say, one? Carry was 167. 167, so that's a massive difference. 181 to 167. Um, keep in mind we are using range balls here, so there's gonna be, they're definitely not going to go as far as normal balls. And I said most of the tests that you guys have seen, everyone's hitting Pro V1s. Uh, we're hitting range balls. I'm trying to pick decent ones, but um, they are what they are. Pretty good drive for me. Uh, we had 249 carry on Twin Caddy, uh, 97 club head speed, 145 ball speed, 1.49 smash. Let's go over to John. Off the track, man. man. We got 233.6 uh, on the carry. Uh, ball speed was 146.9, a smash factor of 1.45, and a club head speed of 101.1. .1. So, 101.1 is four miles an hour difference. The carry 249 versus what, 233? Yep. That's pretty enormous. 233 is pretty crappy. Um, but the other numbers line up pretty well. So, I think from what we can see, the ball speeds are pretty accurate, but the carry is not really very close out of the margin of error well, let's start with the six iron so what we saw is that the carry distance wasn't accurate at all we're looking at about six percent off on average for those hits swing speed was pretty close about three percent ball speed about 1.57 percent and smash factor was almost dead on so what does that tell us well it tells us that our swing speeds and our ball speeds are pretty close even though the carry distance is totally wrong so if you want to get your six iron, you want to see how much ball speed you're generating, you just watched Tiger Woods yesterday and he hit 132 mile an hour swing speed with a six iron. You're like, oh, what do I do? I should be pretty close to that. Well, first of all, you're not even anywhere close to that. And second of all, at least this tool can help you work on that. So for me, if I'm hitting 122 miles an hour, that's pretty good. Um, I don't do it that often, but I'm working towards getting towards that goal and this tool can help me do that. But what I can see is that if my smash factor is really bad and my swing speed is really high, it's not really helping me very much. And so the harder I swing, if I don't make good contact with the ball, it doesn't really matter. So it is a very good tool for helping you do that. If you want to use it to dial in your carry distances, first of all, you're using range balls. These things have been hit a billion times. And so your carry distances aren't going to be good with range balls anyway. So I don't know how big of a deal it is to you that it doesn't carry that far or doesn't, it's not that accurate. I prefer looking at the smash factor. I prefer knowing what my ball speed is. It's going to give me a pretty good idea of how I'm going to hit my uh, driver, how I'm going to hit my irons on the range. Moving on to the driver. Well, same story. The carry distance, again, isn't very close. In fact, it was almost 15 yards off of one of the hits, which is pretty depressing when you think to yourself, man, I just crushed it. And really, you really didn't. You, you really hit it pretty crappy. So that's not really very cool. The carry distance, 5% again. Swing speed, 4.7%. And if you've watched any reviews of Swing Caddy, you're going to see that when you start swinging over 100 miles an hour, the data gets inaccurate. And I think we've seen that here. Trackman generally has me about 104. And here we're like 97, 95, which is pretty slow for me even though the ball speed was pretty close and ball speed is about 2%. So you're seeing that ball speed being very accurate, but swing speed being kind of all over the place. And again, that goes to the smash factor. You want to get that smash factor as close to 1.5 as possible with the driver or 1.45 or 1.47 or whatever you want to be. You're not going to get the, that carry distance to be accurate, but those other numbers can be pretty helpful. It's going to help you dial in your swing and see how well you can hit it. And really the objective is to get as most, the most ball speed as you can. So if you can work on your swing, work on getting that, that smash factor up and seeing those numbers go up, you're in the right direction. And the carry distance with range balls really isn't all that important. So that's kind of a summary of what we've seen. I'm gonna keep using it. I like it. I like trying to get that smash factor up there. We're gonna do some more testing. We're gonna use range balls versus real balls, give you an idea of what that does. And we're gonna test it against some other equipment. So subscribe below, hit the like button, and we will talk to you guys soon.